What's up, Norton Renegade Cactus, but you can call me whatever you want. Welcome to day 10 of the Game Boy Advent. We are gonna play as the Gundam Force. Now, a short introduction to this game. It's about Gundam Wings or Gundam Force, whatever. Uh, Gundam is a huge anime, probably manga as well, right? Yeah, sure. It's <laughs> a huge series about huge fighting robots. And technically that's something that I should like a lot and I really love the designs, I really love the idea behind it, I've just never ever watched anything about it. And the games that are out are always like weird in their own right. But this game I found one day many 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 years ago, played it and I was like yeah, fun. And that was one of my staple games every time I do re-download the Game Boy Advance emula emulator. Just because, again, it's it's fun and not much more. I'm gonna play the main theme, episode 1, we are SD Gundam Force. And you're gonna see what kind of game this is in just a second. These are the enemies. I don't know what they are called. Like I know I know they have like a name. <laughs> but since again, I've never watched anything about Gundam, I really could not tell you what exactly we are working with. Okay, we can attack. Wait, is that a different punch? No. It's the same. We can punch, we can shoot, and we can Switch characters. This one floats. Because why wouldn't he? Does this one float as well? No. This one just jumps. Good to know. The enemies seem to run away once we hit them. We can destroy them, we can attack them, but they don't really we don't really care about that it seems. All we know is that they try to attack us once and as soon as they are attacked they run away. Do we get more... I mean, we probably get more points if we kill them. But whatever. You know what? I'm gonna switch. I love how they just give us the option, hey, you wanna play with this Gundam, we wanna play with this Gundam, and then in-game it's like, yeah, I mean, you basically play whatever. You, you can play them all. Ah, this one doesn't... This one has, if I press down, I block, and if I press the B button again, I shoot. Does this one have anything? Oh! Oh no, he always shoots. Gotcha. Uh... Oh, there's an enemy left. <laughs> Didn't see that because he was too far up. And why can't I? I... Okay. I can not hit him because I wasn't on his... On his level, basically. But as soon as I get on his level, I take damage. That's sure. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I like it. Uh, um, can we... Okay, we can destroy him. And now we can go on. I've... Again, I've played this game a few times. It's... One, again, one of my staples once I download a the emulator. It's just one that I always have, but not one that I always necessarily play. <laughs> it's just... I have it in case that I want, like, 10 minutes of just stupid... Stupid gameplay. I'm not saying this is stupid gameplay, it's just it's way more like there there is no real story, at least not yet. There is no real uh character development, at least not now. There is no deep combat system, it's just run around and destroy them. We break up the hit combo, which is cool. Can we get up to 100? The answer is yes. Does that do anything? Probably just more points? We level up again, don't know what that actually does for us, if we can level up after a, after the level or not. But whatever, yeah, that just gave us a lot of points, which are used for who knows what. Ah, there is something up there. That looks important. That looks like we unlocked a special ability. Do we have a... wait. 
Are there any more buttons we can press? We can press L and R. Oh, wait. Okay. The gauge right below our HP seems to be for switching. Because every time I switch, I seem to lose one of those packs. Let's call them packs. Also, very riveting gameplay. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I'm... I'm I am a fan of giant robots. I love the idea. I technically would love a great game about it. And there are many, many games. Wait, you can just jump once. That's kind of lame. You can jump twice. There are many, many mech games uh, of different varieties. Uh, quite a lot of Gundam games, by the way. Okay, no, in the pause menu, we can't do anything about leveling up or whatever. We have lost quite a lot of health. Is that something that gives us back health? No, it isn't. Okay. And the problem that I have with most mech games that I... Oh, that seems like there will be a boss fight. Because there's a warning. Problem I have with most mech games is often they are so slow. Which kind of makes sense because, I mean, huge, huge uh, robotic... Oh my goodness, huge robotic things. And of course they won't be super nimble. But then again, we're like, we're basically talking anime concept. And why wouldn't I just make super nimble, huge mechs? I'm talking about like in Dragon Ball Z, when they just dash around everywhere and just instantly are next to their enemy. That's what I want from my big mechs. It, a big max. Is that realistic? Absolutely not. Are huge max realistic? Absolutely not. At least not yet. Sure, they will come one day, but I, I doubt that they will be as prevalent as in uh, many animes and series, because it just sounds impractical. Uh, okay. It told me to hurry up and. Wait, did you see my character stay there and also exit, or was it just me? I don't know. Well, whatever. So, oh, okay, we, we lost a life, which doesn't really matter. Also, we are only level 3 now. We were level 4. Maybe we're level 3 now because we lost a life? Again, I have played this game quite a lot, but never really for longer than 20 minutes on a, uh, at a time, because this is just... I don't know, it, may, it might just, it might get way better or m more, um, like, might get deeper gameplay, but I really doubt it. I just think this is, this is mostly what you get. Maybe you get stronger things, maybe you can somehow make your attacks stronger. I doubt that you get different uh, Gundams. That was a cool combo, not gonna lie. Also, I'm gonna just start punch, punch, shoot, punch, punch, shoot. I really love that they seem to have uh, taken the voice lines from from the series or something like that because, like, I highly doubt that these things crying out are just custom for this game. I'm guessing this it was taken from some sort of media. And I really love it because it just sounds so goofy. Also, again, I just have one attack button and there is only the difference between pressing <coughs> the attack button and pressing the attack button downwards. And if, yeah, this one just... This one floats. In a very floaty manner. Like, not... That wasn't necessarily a button, it was mostly just if I press upwards we fly I let go and he keeps flying a little bit he's just his weight feels really weird but for some reason he's the only one that flies and the main character or the main character looking one uh, is the only one with different attacks because this one <coughs> no matter which way you press it it's just you you shoot this oh wait Oh, ooh, I can charge up. 
And I guess I can charge up while flying. Oh, that's cool. That didn't really seem too strong because that thing down there still stands. I would have... Oh. Different... Different charge attacks. Interesting. This game is weird. <laughs> and... It seems like I have like 17 different charge attacks. Also, does this guy just take way less damage or... I don't know. Yeah, that's that's kind of cool. <laughs> Not gonna lie, but other than that... Can you charge up an attack? No. So... <clears throat> okay, the main character... I, I, I always call him main character, but again, I've never watched anything so I could not tell you it's just that oh there seems to be some kind of some kind of <clears throat> secret and I don't know how I would get there like can I destroy these things somehow I don't know I don't think so so maybe one of the enemies would have had to destroy it for us I don't know but yeah, so this one is the only one that can A, float, and B, or fly, basically, and B, charge up and attack. This one is the only one with different attacks. How? Wait, did I destroy that by hitting an enemy onto it? I don't know. This game is kind of confusing. Fun, yes, but kind of confusing. <laughs> Yeah, this one is the only one with just two different attacks, it seems. And also it can block. The red one is the one with the uh, fastest attacks, also I can block. But that's pretty much it. Also, this one is the worst jumper. And then we got the blue one who can float and charge. Whoa! Oh, sure, they petrify me. Because why wouldn't they, right? Wait, I can just hit them all. Also, I can just stay in the middle and shoot to both sides. No, I cannot. Okay, damn it. Totally forgot that I don't fly with the A button. I just fly by pressing up. My bad. But it seems like this... Gundam is the best one when it comes to this fight right here, and I flew right into the enemies. Also, it's mostly that these flying things are annoying, because one petrifies me and the other does more damage. What is you? That looks like a, a dragon made out of these little things. Are they just re robots, but kind of cute? Maybe. And of course, there is something shining. It's the eye. So we're going to attack it. Because why wouldn't we in a game like this, right? If something's... Uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Not shining. Uh, blinking, basically. It's shiny, it's blinking. So of course, it's where we need to hit. Also, can the other two even attack this enemy? Like, I, I mean, I do. I, th I would think so. But on the other hand, I would have to always jump. And with this guy, it's just this, and not much else. Could oh my goodness, that was a lot of damage. Could we just get the like so many different attacks that I don't really know what they all do or how I get them. And I lost. Sako Sako? I have so many questions. <laughs> Oh, is that the whole game? <laughs> also, there are two different two different ways to go. Interesting. 
So, I would guess these are the main enemies in the series. They are mostly the henchmen, the little ones. But the way they all act pretty goofy, are they? Are there pilots in there or are they just basically AI or just programmed like that? Is there someone behind that or are they just robots so that you don't that you don't feel bad for them? I could not tell you. I'm gonna run around with this guy because I kinda like the fast attacks. Also dual wielding katana robot is just really cool i'm i'm still a kid at heart so <laughs> of course that's something that i really like because i mean who doesn't like dual wielding katana robots like seriously and i i i would guess that these enemy things are just like i said ai mass produced ai uh but then again, Gundam, if I... Like, as far as I know, Gundam has pretty damn... Like, uh... Cruel... Storylines, or, um... It, it's... Sometimes rather... Would you say grown up? Nah, it's... It... It's not as cute as this game looks. Uh, although, SD Gundam Force... As, as far as I know, could be a spin-off, a, a chibi spin-off that is just made to kind of uh, bring it to a younger audience, possibly, or just have more light-hearted humor. I don't know. Maybe it's just for this game. I don't know if SD Gundam Force is, like, is actually something. I could have done some research, but I didn't think about it before starting this video. <laughs> It just, just now, uh, talking about it is where I thought to myself, hey, you know what? That would have been quite interesting, wouldn't it have been? Okay, we got a 1-up. Oh, as in health. Nice. I still don't know if there are any items that increase uh, my health. I dashed? Oh, okay, yeah, I can dash. Interesting. Um, but then again, I think, didn't, didn't we see some, um, onigiri, some, some rice balls, basically, flying around? I couldn't get to them, but I'm guessing that's the item that increases our health again. Because that's a very, uh, I don't want to call it cliche, but a very often used healing item. Also, why don't I just float around with blue guy? Like, seriously. He's not the most fun to actually fight with. But he's just the most the most useful. Okay, can we somehow destroy... Can we somehow destroy this, these things? Because it seems like sometimes when we kill enemies... They fly through this, these blocks and destroy them. I see. I do have special abilities. The problem is I might have soft locked myself right now. So, first things first, for anyone wondering what I just did, I pressed the A and B button, which seemingly took all of my energy, the one below my blinking H bar, uh, health bar, which is also used to switch robots. Now I cannot switch robots. Which shouldn't be a big deal, but this one, this robot is the one that can that can only jump once. So it seems I basically soft locked myself. Oh no, wait. The packs are filling up little by little, it seems. Soft locking for in case anyone doesn't know it, soft locking just means you uh, basically locked yourself to where you are at that point and can't get out without restarting the game or dying in-game. As something like 
Again, if if the uh, if my energy didn't if my energy didn't re um, recharge over time, I would have just been stuck there. All I could have done would be uh, just to. Oh my goodness, this is really weird. Uh, would have been to just start the level anew. Because if I can't jump higher, I cannot jump out of the pit. Yeah, look, there's there's some uh, onigiri, and I'm guessing that it's for HP recovery. But I still don't know how to destroy these things. If I can destroy those things, if only enemy robots can destroy them, because every time they got destroyed... Wait, can I? Okay, no. Every time they got destroyed, it was something, it had something to do with these enemies. But I couldn't tell you what. I really don't know. Also, I said in the beginning, it's a game that I play like 20 minutes at a time. And I feel like that's pretty much it. Like, I'm, I, I will try, I will try this boss once again. You know what? I'm gonna just destroy them all at once. I do think there are more of them that will come around, but I just want to start by destroying the first wave. No big deal. No idea what that was, but okay. And we're back. And I gotta switch to this one, because again, it's the easiest way. Also, what kind of special ability do you have? Tell me you also have one, please. Yeah, okay, everyone has a special ability. It's always probably just a different looking screen wipe. Are these blue rose petals? Or blue, blue petals in general? Okay, so if we hit enemies with our special, they just get sucked into these portals. I'm sure that has some, uh, like, story reasons in Gu SD Gundam Force. Pretty sure. I wouldn't know it. <laughs> okay, so moving while attacking is kinda not that easy. Like, moving... Up and down, no problem. Shooting while moving as well, but as soon as you start by attacking and only then go and move, it's just he really won't budge an inch. This game is weird. <laughs> I just wanted to play it for nostalgia reasons, see if it's actually any good or if it's just... or if I was basically correct in just... Ah, damn it. In just playing it every now and then. Okay, I just want to use this guy's special attack. For that, I need to load up on the special ability, uh, special energy. Yep. Ah, we died. Doesn't really matter. And as soon as... And now. What do you do? A big old Hadouken? A Kamehameha? Something like that? Big wave? Okay. Did we hit this giant enemy? I don't know. I would guess. I would guess that these attacks are always, uh, always hit the whole screen. But it's hard to tell if we hit this enemy or not. Or rather, how much damage we do on this enemy. Because yes, we do, we do see when we hit it, but, or hit it. I just should, I should move out of the way, shouldn't I? Mm -hmm. Probably should move out of the way. Boom, 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 you know what, and move out of the way. Now we're gonna charge. You know what, yeah, wait up here, and damn it. This time they did a different, uh, they moved in a different way than usual. So we fly up here, we charge up, and as soon as this guy is back, we attack. Ouch. Can we... Eh, eh, eh. That's a whole lot of attacks. Just don't know if they actually do a whole lot of damage. I would guess not, because again, most of the time, uh, 
fast attackers are the ones that are not the strongest. Could we just, I don't know, get rid of this enemy? <laughs> I just want to win this fight and then be done with this video. Not like I don't enjoy it, but I really... Oh, it's blinking red, so we should be close to killing it. This guy might have just been the best for dealing with this enemy, which is weird. But okay, and it has been a little... one of those little things probably was just a lot of those little things. Checkpoint! Yay! I don't really care. <laughs> I'm gonna end this episode right here, right now. What's there to say about this game? I mean, music is nice but very repetitive. The style is cute. I like the backgrounds, I like the pixel art. That's pretty much it. Thank you nerds so much for watching. I'm the Renegade Cactus and I gotta run. Bye bye!